Rise and Grind. The best bourbons for under $25. Let's get into the list. Now I know on this channel we're always talking about Blanton's and allocated bourbon and impressing your friends and having the best. But you can get great bourbon for under $25. And we're not just talking about mixers. We're talking about bourbons that you can actually sip and enjoy. We're not talking about that gas tasting bourbon. We are talking about something that's going to be pleasant and enjoyable. And so we've got a great list here. All the bourbons in this video are under $25. The first bourbon that we have today is early times bottled and bond bottle and bond means that this is aged at least four years it also means that this is a hundred proof now this bottle that i have in my hand which comes courtesy of one of my favorite subscribers alex he's got a youtube channel called here to learn alex sent me three bottles of this this is early times. Now, this is a liter. And so for under $25, you're getting great bourbon, but you're also getting a great quantity. Now, when I first tried this, I thought this was gonna be more of a mixer. A liter at this price, after tasting this. And I know that there's been a new variation with this Sazerac purchase. And so we have gone from the different caps. And so there's a slight change, but the present variation that you're gonna get, you get a lot of caramel, a lot of black pepper, and this is oily. This to me is not a mixer. This to me is a midweek pour. This is good enough to have by itself. In fact, I've got this rated higher than a Knob Creek. In fact, I might even put this higher than Knob Creek 12 year. That's how much I like this. This is delicious. This is easy to drink. This is a bit complex. This is a bit spicy. This is great bourbon that you can get at a great price. Early times, bottle and bond. The next bourbon that we have that you can get for way under $25, we've got another bottle and bond. Again, bottle and bond means that it's aged for at least four years, that it's 100 proof, and that it's gone through certain quality standards. That means you are drinking good, consistent bourbon. This is the Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. This gives you that peanut finish. This gives you a lot of black pepper. This also gives you some sweet vanilla. This is likely the cheapest bourbon on the list. And this is a great choice. This could be a mixer. I wouldn't necessarily sip this by itself, but in an old fashioned, in any drink that you're gonna make this with, because it's 100 proof, that's gonna do you well. Evan Williams, Bottle and Bond. The next bourbon on our list comes at no surprise. This is one of my most favorite bourbons because of the memories. This is one of the bourbons that started it out for me. Elijah Craig. This is a cheap bourbon, but this is an eight year bourbon. This has a lot of baking spice. This has a lot of spice blended well with the spiciness, blended well with some smokiness. This is quintessential bourbon. This could be considered a mid midweek pour this is an amazing choice at an amazing price. 
Elijah Craig. And the next bourbon that we have, we've got Wild Turkey 101. This bourbon makes every single list of this type. This is cinnamon, it's spice, it's vanilla. This is probably the best mixer there is. This is a six year bourbon at a great proof, at a great taste from a great distillery. This could be sold for twice the amount and I would still buy it. Wild Turkey 101. And the last bourbon that we have, we've got 1792. This is the small batch. I am happy to say that I've got the whole collection. The full proof, the single barrel, the sweet wheat, the bottle and bond. But it all started with the small batch. Now this comes in at a great proof. This is 93 proof. And so this would make a good midweek pour. This is sweet yet spicy. This has notes of vanilla and dark fruit. 1792 is an amazing pour. 1792 is delicious. All of them come in at about $50 or less, but the small batch, this you can definitely get for under $25, and this is a great addition to your bar this is a great addition to your lineup and this is proof that you can have delicious bourbon for under $25. We hope that we have helped you by letting you know that for $25, for giving up Starbucks for one week, you could get you a great bottle of bourbon. If we've helped you, help us subscribe comment, like, share. Let people know about the help that you are getting. This is bigger than whiskey, but we are trying to impact your entire life. Please join us on Instagram. We've got an Instagram page called Rise and Grind 411. And there daily, we share with you pictures of our bourbons, pictures of our cigars, pictures of all things men related. Join us there. Today for our conversation, we wanna share with you a quote I recently heard. And that quote is that people who are interested Watch people who are obsessed. You see, some of you are just interested in success. When you played sports in high school, you were interested. You go through your life interested in things. But most of your time is spent watching people who are obsessed. Michael Jordan. Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, they weren't just interested in basketball. They were obsessed with it. You are just interested. You hope to become wealthy. You hope your career takes off. You hope your marriage works out. You are just interested in these ideas. But you've got to go from being interested into being obsessed about it. You see, oftentimes and today they tell you, don't be obsessed and don't be out of balance and, 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 and stay where you're supposed. No, you've got to be obsessed about this stuff. You've got to be obsessed about success. You've got to be obsessed when it comes to your health. You've got to be obsessed when it comes to your marriage. You can't just be interested and hope things work out. But you've got to be mad dog obsessed about these things. Stop watching other men change the world. Stop watching other men achieve greatness. 
You sitting on the couch applauding LeBron James for the greatness he has achieved because you were interested when he was obsessed. You were watching Bill Gates and all these men change the world and you're interested. You've got to move from being interested into that space where you are obsessed about it. If your life is in balance, you get your sleep, your rest, you're going to remain interested. But if you want to be a master of industry, if you want to be a world changer, if you want to be that man that your children look up to with admiration, if you want to be that man that your wife wants you to be, then you got to move from being just interested in things and become obsessed about something. You have greatness in you, but it requires you to move from being just interested into obsession. And that is how you will change your life. Rise and grind.